Hello from Vienna. Third South in Austria. These city views just keep getting better, <laughs> don't they? So where are we, Roxanne? We're in Vienna. Okay, well, yes, this is true, but where are we physically right now? In a hostel. Thank you for that. <laughs> What's the name of the hostel, and do you want to give us a tour of it? Uh, the name of the hostel is... Manger? M-E-I-N-I-N-G-E-R. Manger? Manger? That. Something? Um, so... It's a hostel, gets the job done. This one has beautiful views. It's a little overcast today. But this is, we have our window open right now because we're on the roof. So we have a nice little hatch window, which is awesome. And you can see a lot of Vienna from here. But there's more to this, this particular hostel than just the views. Yeah, well, it is nice that the shower and the bathroom are separate. And they have a blow dryer in there, which is great. Yeah, so the bathroom shower is separate. Not that you can really... Not that you can really see, see it necessarily without seeing us. Yeah. Um, and then there's some cool, like, little, like, <clears throat> places for your stuff. And there's, like, these cool shelves and things. Unless you're us and you're the last one in the group. And then you get... The, butt, the beds with like no extra. I think anything. I think you almost said butt beds. <laughs> it feels like the butt beds just because of the fact of we got the ones that were in the corner. They both the locks were broken on the lockers, so yeah, it's really just for a sense of security. And then like that one has a shelf. That one has a shelf. Mine no shelf. But again, it's another hostel. It's not necessarily our favorite one. Um, it has a little bit more of a hotel vibe, so like it's literally just a place to stay. Where some of the other ones, like it, it's a community. Yeah, it gave a little more um, community culture feel, where you like felt like you could meet people and stuff. We haven't really met anybody at the last two ones, except our really cool bunkmate. But um, she's no longer there, but she yeah. was from Canada she and amazing. Is. Yes. So, uh, anyways, let's let's go from here. Vienna. Third stop in Austria. <laughs> we already said that though in the intro, but we are here in a garden. Do we know the name of the garden? It's just called, uh, from what I could tell online, it just said G Garten. Garten. I don't know how to say it. 
Um, it's a long code word, so sorry. We'll just call it G Garden. Yeah. We're in the G O G <laughs> Garden. Uh, kind of is the O G Garden though. It's a it's a park now. It's really pretty. <laughs> is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> Do you want to explain to the people what this is behind you? Um, well, you're the one who figured it out before we even saw it, but it's a flak tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you pointed it out and was like, I wonder if that's a flak tower. <laughs> It Which it is. You can see actually each of these little round dots would have had a flat gun on it, um, which is an anti-aircraft gun if you don't know. And these were built as a way of kind of blanket coveraging the surrounding area from bombers to yeah. prevent bombing raids. The sad part is it wasn't built high enough, I guess, because the Allied not the Allied. Well, it was built, it was completed a year before World War II ended. Mm -hmm. So if you think about how many tons of concrete, how much time went into that, this was designed probably pretty early on in the war. They may have been to spec when they were initially built to blanket coverage against U.S. bombers, but the aircraft in general during World War II advanced at a rapid pace. Yeah. Also random fact, a sad random fact, um, I guess there was people playing around it and a grenade went off and so one of the clocks on this side yep right where she's pointing is gone um is gone because it blew up well they had to remove it for safety because the kids caused structural damage to the towers yeah back in 1946 that sounds i think close. that's what she said when we first got here um also there's like a crane behind us that's like making sure it doesn't fall over um, which brings to the other point of there's other people who kind of went to take down the towers, um, but they decided to... Basically, when the Allied forces just finally, after the end of World War II, the Allied forces took down a lot of these towers in Germany and surrounding countries, but these ones were left here by the Allied forces to commemorate... It was like a remembrance. ...of the fact that Austria claimed to be a victim throughout World War II. Mm -hmm. And so they really didn't have a choice in these being put up. It's another kind of a forever symbol of Austria's culpability. That's a weird word. Yeah, and there's a sign that says, or a graffiti art that says never again. And so it's kind of interesting how there's a giant concrete military structure in the middle of the park. And I think in the U.S., short of Hawaii, we really didn't ever have that something that close to major cities like we didn't have the mixing of military defense and your backyard yeah it is very very just in the central of it all i mean they they, they come in pairs um yeah there's another so there's tower another one right down the way and it's way. just in the middle middle of the city like it was just here kind of part of your everyday during that time. Yeah, and there's really kind of cool, I mean, cool or symbolic in the sense of you, there's no part in the park where you can't see both of these towers. They're tall, they're imposing. Sunny day. Yeah, we're both a little under the weather. Um, but 
We're not pushing ourselves too much for this kind of adventure. But we're only here tomorrow, it's supposed to rain, and then we leave. So we figured today is either make or break. We have to go see the city and not just said that we slept through it again. Yeah. Because we already so. did that in London. We can't do that again. <laughs> and we almost did that in Berlin. So. <laughs> we like to sleep. Basically, we took a three month trip just to sleep. Yeah. Sleep in different cities. We're basically bears that hibernate in different cities. We're just that expensive European bears that like to hibernate on the European top destination. Yes. Yeah. So, um, anyways, we're just we're not out here. too much plan. We're just trying to find pretty things. We went to our farthest point, which is a huge palace that you'll see B-roll of in mm -hmm. some point in this video. Yes. Cue four second montage. <laughs> So this is almost the end of our last day in Vienna and I would say it's probably been our second favorite city. We still like London really well, yeah. but when you think of a modern European city, Vienna definitely delivers on that. Um, we've got the graffiti here, which second only to probably Berlin in the amount of graffiti we've seen, mm -hmm. which is kind of contrasty to the historic kind of buildings above us. But. What do you like about Vienna? I, I just like the mix of it. There's like the cute old buildings. Uh, there's the river. I guess rivers run through lots of cities. I said that to somebody and they're like, yeah, that's every city. Um, but just the nature around it. Um, you see a lot of like different, like you see families, you see kids, you see young people, you kind of see it all here. We saw some homeless people too, but they play music, which is kind of interesting. There was a guy that oh, was... I love all the live music. Like, everywhere you go, there's people playing music. Sorry, no, we've seen a, <laughs> like a cellist. We've seen a saxophonist. Um, guitar. guitar. We just passed a guy on a guitar. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there, it's just... It's a lively city, which I like. Um, but then, yet, it's calm enough. It's not like a party city, at least from what I've seen. But yeah, overall I'm really liking the city, which we, there's so much to explore. We found our little gems, we found our memories in it, but it's definitely a lot. Probably, probably hopefully coming back. <laughs> yeah, definitely if you haven't already added Vienna to your list of places to go. Roxy can't play slug bugs I, anymore. I can't. So, what's the score now? 48 to 18. 48. 48. <laughs>